Sup and good day gamers, a formal bust here with Xanthar Von Collector once again. But first, our sponsor, my sponsor, everyone's sponsor, H2O. Drink it up or die. Oh, gotta stay hydrated, gamers. What is this, part like 80 or something for Xanthar, I think? Okay. <laughs> Killing more Silver Hand. I, I can do this. Let's just do it. Let's just kill more Silver Hand, get the fragments of Wuthrad back, and return back to Yis uh, uh, Jorvask, or not Yiskamor. I mean, they'd be pretty happy if I could return back to Yiskamor to change into him. Yeah, there we go. And let's go with the bow. Okay, they're still alive. I don't think they've been wiped out, but whatever. You think you can take me? Man, he's regenerating health pretty well. There you go, Lucas. Thank you. Don't know what his problem was. So, silver hand have been wiped out, it seems. Good to know. And there's all the fragments. Morning Star. Definitely have read that, but you know, whatever. We'll take it. Hmm. Uh, Warrior. Have probably read it. We'll take it anyway. Coin purse. Dwimmer in Coral. Hmm, I don't think I have that. Not much. Don't know. Don't know. I need to go through my books. It's all on Xanthar. He's not a very good book collector. He just, you know, it's the kleptomaniac in him, picking up all everything he sees. Ooh, I've got Rex, not worth it. Alright, let's go, Vilkus. That's what I thought, yeah, that's what I thought. This, that was, didn't know it was that door exactly, but I thought it was barred for some reason. Alright, Vilkus, we gotta go all the way back to Whiterun. And, uh, I think we need to stop by the house. I don't know, we'll see. Might have dropped off those dragon bones already. Oh, is there anything on the way home? I can kill some... I can kill some giants. That's pretty much it. I think we'll stop and do that, then. We go south. And let me get one sprint, because we'll definitely need it. Oh, got it already. Perfect. Keep up, Vilkas. Keep up. You can just wait, he'll, you know, catch up to you any time. What is this little place, though? They have, what, a yellow banner? Yellow banner. Who's got a yellow banner other than, like, the class of restoration? I guess maybe the Thalmor got something yellow. Who knows? Well, I probably looted it already, it seems. Probably did since it's discovered already. Yeah, I definitely took everything. Okay. Okay. And yes, this does get me up the hill a little bit. Alright. Need to head southeast, because it's White Run we're headed to. I think southeast, right? No, southwest is fine. Okay. Oh boy. Parkour? Parkour. Mm. Bit of damage there, all good. Kill me. Not cast. Yeah, Tower Mazark. Let's go, Saber Cats. 
Sorry, snow and saber cats. Perfect. I just want your eyes and your tusks if you have them. Okay, just your eyes then. What? Should be nearing these giants. Oh, this is for Morthal, isn't it? Man, I'll never get that bounty. I'll get it, it's just Morthal. I don't really have any plans to go back to Morthal anytime soon. So, you know, who knows when I'm the bounty. Although I do need to go to Solitude. Because the Morthal house is closest to Solitude, even though it's kind of across the bay. Hey Lydia, how you doing? Come on, Giants, where you at? You know, last time I did this all sneaky, this time I've got Vilkus, well... This time I got Vilkus and a bow, so we'll deal with him that way. Usually there is one up here, somewhere, in this entryway. But, ooh, maybe their stuff is repopulated then since they're... Or I just didn't pick these last time. Just be one, just be one. Gotta get in there for that, that, that salt. It's worth it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I want. Please have repopulated. Nope. nope. Doesn't hurt to check the chest, though. And the cheese bowls. Oh, the, the, no. Oh, well. We got some cheese. Not all of it. Okay. And they have a chest somewhere. Okay, so some of the. Okay, some of it's repopulated. Chest, come on. Okay, it's not empty, so we're in good. Okay, yeah. Pretty much just the gold. It's fine by me. Cheese, no cheese, no cheese. Cheese, cheese, cheese. No cheese. Alright. What about you? I didn't check you, did I? Okay, thank you. You're an empty steak. I don't need you. Alright. Well, that takes care of that bounty. <laughs> never gonna get that bounty. I'll get it eventually, next time I have to stop by Morthal. West, so pretty much just south. East-ish. No, just south. Ah, uh, yeah, there's Whiterun. What? I always forget how wide White Run is. Just from this side, it seems so much longer than it, you know, seems inside. But it is how things work. On the inside, they're smaller than the outside normally. Just goes to show you why White Run needs a second entrance. Most towns have them. Um, I think no, Solitude's got like multiple entrances actually. Windhelm, no, Windhelm's got two. Yeah, White Run is the only city I think that only has one entrance. I mean, yeah, you can argue the, uh, what? you know, Dragon's Reach has a back entrance, but you can't enter into it. You can only exit out of it. Real shame.
Yeah, you can just hop over, hop over the wall right there. Just a short little hop. It'll be just fine. And I still have potions to sell, so shopkeeps better have mom money. It's really their money for now, but you know, once I get there, it'll be mine. So close the to the five. So close. probably prepared Codlex's funeral by now. Come up to the Sky Forge to pay your respects. Oh, I will. Don't worry, about this. Attend Codlex's funeral. Guild? Nope. Guild Green's still fucked. It's an interesting kind of fucked, though. Can we? Yeah, we can go into the Underforge whenever we want to. Okay, let's do this. Who will start? I'll do it. Before the ancient flame. We, we grieve. grieve. We grieve. We grieve. At this loss, we, we weep. weep. We weep. For the fallen, we, we shout. shout. And for ourselves, we, we take, take our, take our, our leave. leave. Members of the circle, let us withdraw to the Underforge to grieve our last together. Do you have the fragments of Wuthrat still? Uh, I'll need to prepare yeah. them for mounting again. Oh, of course. Yep. Don't get too flowery on me, lad. Of course, there's another piece that Kodlak always kept close to himself. Would you go to his chambers and bring it back for me? I'm not sure I'm the best one to go through his things. I appreciate it. Okay, so gotta get one more fragment from him. Man, whole town. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, sorry. Mm -hmm. Jarl's Something here. Has shifted Danica, Preventus. Yeah. All right. So gotta go get a fragment of Wuthrad. Or with the third, Wuthrad. There's still some things in here that are considered stealing. Now what about... Nope, still in here. Okay. In table. Fragment of Wuthrad. And Codlex Journal. Hey, there we go. That's what we need. Stone of Benezia. Sorry. Unidentified stone. I just... I just... Nah, I have plenty of danger cards. I don't need to worry about them yet. What kind of weapon do you prefer? I like the smaller, quicker blade. Although, yeah, there's nothing about reading his journal. So we won't read it yet. We'll read it at some point. Just not right now. Your shield siblings have withdrawn to the Underforge. I think they're waiting for you. Well, of course I'll go. Now, we just gave him all the fragments of Wuthred. Just, just, just be aware of that and time it out. Before he died. Let, uh, let, let's go through his Codlax book right now. Codlax journal. My dream, I see the line of harbingers start with these Grimoire. Each of them ascends to Sovereign Guard until we come to Ch oh god, Terfrag, who first turned us to the ways of the beast. He tries to enter Sovereign Guard, but before he can even approach, uh, Sun, 
he is set upon by a great wolf who pulls him into the hunting grounds where he sing laughs with welcoming arms. Chiffing seems uh, regretful, but also eager to join here soon after a lifetime of service as a beast. Then I see every next harbinger turn away from Sovereign Guard and enter the hunting grounds of their own accord until it comes to me and I see great sun on the misty horizon beckoning me. It appears I have a choice and then at my side a stranger I had not seen before. As I look into his eyes, we return to see the same wolf who dragged away Turfung, <laughs> and, uh, and he and I draw weapons together. I realize this is only a dream, but a strong enough dream to inspire a man like me to take to writing, so it must be of some import. Spoken my thoughts to the circle, withholding the part about the stranger, lest Skior worry I will no longer seek his counsel, and I was not surprised to see them torn by it. Skior and Aella are strong in the ways of the beast, and even seemed to suggest that the hunting grounds would be their choice of afterlife. If it truly, if it were truly a choice, Vilkis seemed most troubled. The boy is as fierce as a saber cat in battle, but his heart's fire burns too brightly at times. He felt deceived, and I don't blame him. Farkas didn't know what to think, but I believe he will come around with uh, me and his brother eventually. He usually does. I don't know what to do about securing Ayala. I know they respect the companions in me, but they take to the blood more deeply than the rest of us. Fortune smiles upon us. Yesterday, Vilkas was telling me how difficult it had been for him to give up his transformations until we can pursue a true cure. The twins and I have chosen not to give in to the beast blood. Oh, okay. For me, it's provided a clear head, but Vilkas seems to be suffering a bit for it. Farkas seems completely untroubled. That boy continues to amaze me with his fortitude. So, there is some lore, like, you're not a werewolf, but there is a hunger inside of you or whatever, since you do have the beast blood inside you. Um, so, like, it's a curse, but not really a curse. You can technically control it. Um... All right. While Vilkis, Vilkis was confi uh, confiding through the shadows of yeah, confiding through the shadows of Jorvaskar, I saw a newcomer approach who wished to join our numbers. It was the stranger from my dream, the one who would stand with me against the beast. Vilkis began speaking obliquely, not wishing to air our problems in front of our guest, and I had to be doubly cautious to not reveal anything of our secrets to the newcomer, while also not revealing the details of my dream to Vilkis don't know how the politicians deal with these sorts of machinations daily. This is the one thing I have with this whole quest line. Mostly it's solid. But I'm the dragonborn at this point, he would have heard of me. And he would have seen me around town. So it's like, he, yeah, it's fine. This book is actually, you know, nothing changes in it no matter what you do in the game. You could do everything in the game except for this quest line. And do this quest line last and it would still read the same. Alright. In any case, I've sent Vilkis to test the newcomer. We'll see if he truly is the great warrior I dreamt of. The newcomer, it seems, is made of decent stock. He calls himself Xanthar Von Collector. Who would have thought? And has already impressed some of the circle with his metal. I still keep my own counsel on his place in my dream for now. Let us see what kind of destiny he is carving before hitching to him. In the meanwhile, I look for ways of cleansing my blood. The writings and legends on the subject are sparse and contradictory. That's nice. I don't wish to engage any wizardry on this matter, but I fear they may be the only ones who best know how to navigate these worlds of knowledge. It's apparent to me now that tr uh, Terrific's choice can turn us... Cho uh, choice to turn us was indeed a mistake. Magics and their ilk are not in keeping with the spirit of the companions. We face our problems directly without the needs of such trickery. I can only hope to guide us back to the true path of Yisgrimor before the rot takes me. <laughs> Xanthar Von Collector continues to impress. I don't know yet where he will stand on the question of the blood, but the question but the question has not been presented yet. He does know that we carry the beast blood and appears curious about it. Soon enough I can explain our troubles and hopefully see what role he will play. I'm amazed that Ayala thinks she can keep a secret among this drunken rabble, especially with the loss of Skior. My heart aches. Emotions are fraying, and the walls of discretion are the first to fall. Apparently, she and Xanthar Von Collector are waging their own separate war against the Silver Hand in retaliation for Skior's death. Their hearts are noble, but the course of vengeance is running hot, and I fear the counterstroke, counterstroke? that may come if they do not reign in their fury. 
Xanthar Von Collector shows valor, though, even in this more underhanded time, we have not yet, we have not had cause to speak much, and that is something I deeply regret. I have high hopes for his destiny, as I realize that his appearance in my dream may indeed mark him as the harbinger to succeed me. No, oh, great. Let's see? I have received few dreams over the course of my life, but when they come, I have learned to trust them. I have also learned to trust the instincts of my heart, which tells me that Xanthar Von Collector can carry the Companion's legacy as truly as any residing in Jor Jorvaskar. Especially with the loss of Skjorg, Aela is too solitary, Bilk is too fiery, and Fark is too kind-hearted. Only Xanthar Von Collector stands the true warrior who can, keeps, uh, can keep a still mind amidst these burning hearts. You do basically nothing after you become the leader of the Companions, just so you know. I will not speak to him of any of this, though. It is too much to burden another with. My hope is that he and I can co console over the coming years. Okay. That I can impart the wisdom of the Harbingers all things in time. Firstly, I will seek his assistance in the matter of the Witches of Glenmoril. Moril. Glenmoril, I guess. It would appear that our path to the cure is not without some poetic justice for the tricksters who first cursed us. Okay. So, yeah, then that didn't really happen the whole You overtime. didn't get it. It's as simple as that. Being moonborn is not so much of a curse as you might think, Vilkas. That's fine for you. But he wanted to be clean. He wanted to meet Iskramor and know the glories of Sovngarde. But all that was taken from him. And you avenged him. Godlack did not care for vengeance. No, Farkas, he didn't. And that's not what this is about. We should be honoring Kodlak, no matter our own thoughts on the blood. You're right. It's what he wanted, and he deserved to have it. Kodlak used to speak of a way to cleanse his soul, even in death. You know the legends of the tomb of Iskramor. There, the souls of the Harbingers will heed the call of Northern Steel. We can't even enter the tomb without Uthrad, and it's in pieces like it has been for a thousand years. And dragons were just stories, and the elves once ruled Skyrim. Just because something is, doesn't mean it must be. The blade is a weapon, a tool. Tools are meant to be broken and repaired. Is that... Did you repair the blade? In a matter of minutes. This is the first time I've had all the pieces, thanks to our shield brother here. The flames of Hero can reforge the shadow. The flames of Kodlak shall fuel the rebirth of Uthrad, and now it will take you to meet him once more. As the one who bore the fragments, I think you should be the one to carry Uthrad into battle. The rest of you, prepare to journey to the tomb of Ysgrimor for Kodlak. I just love that. Just walk in. Yeah, you should carry it. Because you brought the pieces to me. Yeah, logical, I guess. But now, we're going to have to improve that. 66, and especially deadly to elves. Because, of course, it is. Because when it was forged, the elves were somewhat of a, uh, how you could say, enemy. So, 95, and what are we at? 66. Let me see if I have something to... I think it's just steel, honestly. It might be ebony, though. Well, I guess I can't improve it. Okay. I, th I thought you could improve Boothred. You probably can after the mission, possibly. But we got some money to make, so first... I'm gonna, gonna, we're, we're selling some stuff, got the gamers. Deal with it, deal with it. It'll just be like, what, five, ten minutes, maybe? Not much, not much. Uh, about what you did, killing those foul witches. Oh, wow. Got something for just about everybody in here. You got my Give money? You, have you got my you money. Need? Take a look. You got my money. You got my money, I'm sure you do. Okay. Any weapons I want to sell? Sell some arrows while we're in here. Okay. 
keep those. Okay. Apparel. Fitting that I should sell that to her. Lock picking. This, this is my money maker. Uh, okay, well, we're not gonna worry about that. She ain't got the money for it. Just sell one then, I guess. I'm back anytime if you need we're not gonna buy anything just because I'm trying to make money right now. you open up any slower let me know if you see anything you like you and me trinkets odds and ends that sort of thing uh, just potions okay so many cure disease potions 1250 1250 do come back I will don't worry you got money well, when you got money. Got something to say? Yeah, give me more money. Ah, what are you hunting? Never mind. I don't want to know. Ebony, elven, glass. Yeah, I'll buy the rest. Arrows are arrows. No, I don't want no. Why did I buy a mace? Why? Who? 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 Who would buy steel maces at this point? Who would still be using steel maces at level sixty-six? Really? Okay. Sorry, potions. If you're using steel maces at level sixty-six, chase your bliss dog. I, I don't. You know. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. I just yeah. Thank you very much. Just more maidens, I think. We're going inside because she's not. I'm not going to deal with her. Hey, come on. We've got small weapons. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Nope. That's it. Okay. Potions. Where were we? No regenerate magic. Nineteen thirty-five. Nope. Good doing business with you. Always is. Old Ulf birth. Ulf birth. Huh. Do you have anything? Got some good pe It's a sword. Listen, could you take? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? We'll run that up to him real quick as well. No reason not to. <gasps> Ebony arrows, glass arrows, iron arrows. That's it. Okay. Oh, I got some food too. Generate magicka. Twenty-three. Don't forget to check inside the shop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then can what? Already got that. Alright, what is it? Prevent or am I going yeah, I'm delivering it to prevent this. What is Mulgrave's greatsword looking like, by the way? Yeah. Standard steel greatsword. Not shocked at all. Ventus, give me some money for this great sword. The Jarl is from Adrian? Ah, this must be that weapon for the Jarl. Poor girl. So eager to prove herself. I'll present it to Balgruff when his mood is agreeable. Hm. Thank you. Please, take these few coins for services rendered. Great, 20. Enjoy your that was, that was worth reach. it. That was really worth it. 20 gold. Eh. <laughs> Hopefully I'll craft it. 
Hopefully that's the last of the fetch quests for Adrian. What? A little shortcut there if you didn't know about it. I mean, really, you should just be able to hop over the walls from the inside to the outside, but that's not how loading screens work in Skyrim, so you can't. I also think you should be able to, you know, go down through the sewer, well, it's, you know, drain, sewer, whatever, and just, you know, pop out on this side because it's literally, you know, a drop of, like, five feet. Why wouldn't you be able to drop there? Same thing here. You should be able to go outside. They could have done so much more cooler stuff with the waterways and Whiterun. I just, I don't know why they didn't. To me, every time I look at Whiterun, I feel like... They did it, and then, you know, kind of just did the surface, you know? And that was it. I didn't think about all the ins and outs. I mean, literally, the escape tunnel for uh, the White Run Jail just drops you, like, right outside the keep. Okay. Sorry, right outside the wall. It doesn't drop you very far. Uh, journal. Clear the dead. Oh, he's... Gr well, it's up in solitude. I gotta return a book anyway, so not solitude. Windhelm. Uh, yep, we'll just take the carriage to Windhelm then. Um, sorry, Winterhold. I'm not worried. I'm not worried about my inventory. It's not that full right now, and well, I got I got 200 pounds. I can spare. I can, I can go through one dungeon at the very least with 200 pounds. Winter hold, winter hold, winter hold. I can take you. Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Couldn't ask for better weather. Stay hydrated. Just remember, you'll die if you don't drink water, so drink it up. Okay, gonna stop by the college real quick. Drop off the book, and that'll be that. What? Not cast! Do a little side quest for the companions. They're, they're, you know, avid book readers as well, I'm sure. I was about to say, who closed this door? I didn't tell them to close it. Hey. Restoration. So you wish to master the arcane arts? Most definitely I do. Do you have any? You do not. Oh wait, that's my books. Oh wow. All right then. Why are my research materials? Oh, You're it's night time. That's why. <laughs> we'll uh. Oh, I think I have soul gems for him. Oh no, it's not soul gems he needs right now. It's uh tears. There. Take a look. Okay, you conjuration. Okay, you don't have much more. Okay. Potions, though. Generate magicka. Did I have some other in here that I wanted to sell? I thought I did. I guess not. Okay. Uh, until next time. May your next fight bring you victory, friend. Looks like you're still in one piece. And more importantly, so is the book. Thank you. We were able to figure out the last text you brought in. I thought the least I could do was pass the knowledge along. There are more books to be recovered and secured in the Arcanium. All right. I wrote down the last place I'd heard about. Don't get killed. Okay, Shalidors, I believe. Hmm. No? He did give me some books, right? Whatever. All right. I would just like to yeah. 
All you do is the Archmage. You get some books, you help find some gears, you drop off some, you know, soul gems when they need some. It's really... What? Yeah. One of the shortfalls of Skyrim. Yeah, you can become the leader of every single uh, institution in Skyrim, but once you do, you're just regenerating fetch quests. Oh. It's, it's gold, y'all. It's, it's pure gold at this point. I have so much gold in the house, it's not even funny. Yeah, in a lot of ways, Skyrim is broken, but at least for me, in its brokenness is the whole game. Um, cause I mean, think how awesome of a game, think, think how much more stuff you could do in this game if once you became the head of all these institutions, there were some more quests that like involved all the institutions or just, you know, individually involved them. East Moore's tomb, right up here. But no, you become the leader of these institutions and solve their problems. And then you do regenerating fetch quests for them, which granted to do all that is a lot of like, you know, well, A was a lot of work to make, but also like is a lot of time in game to do so I can understand. Oh, give me your soul, give me your soul. I can understand why there are no quests after these, um, story quests that is, for the... What? Sorry, I can understand why there's no more story quests for the main, you know, groups that you're not the not heads of, but would have been very interesting if they had had done so. Or I mean, really, just better regenerating, repeating quests, where it's like, oh, you're actually the Archmage, and we actually need you to do some fancy science magic stuff, but no. Fetch some books. God, this texture just looks... There it goes, there it goes. Mmm, mmm, magnifique. Skyrim, magnifique, never change. Can I? Okay, I can just drop in here. Uh, should be at the bottom right. New thread. Very good looking battle axe, I will give it that. It looks a little like um, the face in the center there looks a little bit like Shigra's um, staff with its, you know, upset faces on it, I'll say. Staff of Madness, I believe. So close. This is the resting place of Iskramor and its most trusted generals. You should be cautious. Kodlak was right. I let vengeance rule my heart. I regret nothing of what we did at Driftshade. But I can't go any further with my mind fogged, or my heart grieved. The original companions, their finest warriors, rest with Isgramor. You'll have to prove yourselves to them. It's not that you're intruding. I'd wager they've actually expected us. They just want to be sure that you're worthy. Be ready for an honorable battle. I. This is the resting place of Iskramor. Thank you, Vilcus. And most trusted Thank you. generals. Thank you. Thank you. I. You should be cautious. This is the resting place I of Iskramor. I got you. I got you. I got you. And its most trusted the generals. Iskramor, in all his might, cautious. it opens the door, and you can activate it to get Uthred back. And of course, it doesn't refavorite it for some reason. Actually, that might be the point where it changes. From, uh, now I might be able to improve it, like I said. Until next Something time. Has shifted in the and if you wanted a broken iron sword blade and a broken iron sword handle, well, this is like the only or place I'm black. aware you can get it, so, you know, if you need that, it's right there. Got anything else in here? Nothing. Okay. We're gonna pretty much try and stick with Foo Thread. Oh man. Yeah, we're gonna stick with this the whole way through if we can. Healing where we need to. All the living shall fear the day. Never! 
Yeah, I headbutted a ghost to death. You can't really loot them afterwards. They phase out like that. Um, there's a couple um, places like that where, you know, you can't loot stuff. So, it's a loot light uh, dungeon, this one is, but, you know. There's plenty of stuff lying around as well. Who dares disturb my rest? <laughs> Yeah, really, in this dungeon, just worry about killing them. There's no loot. Some burned books, not so great. Some burned books and a healing potion. A little bit over here. Okay, so there are some dead Draugr in here. I'm not, I can't remember if you actually fight any Draugr, but there are plenty of dead ones lying around. Over here, ooh, urns. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah, Silverhand really spoiled me on gold. Getting a couple, you know, 100 gold per dead enemy is pretty, pretty lucrative. Ooh, Dragon Priest Dagger, I will take that. Just because, you know, it's Dragon Priest Dagger. You don't get to see them very often. Death comes for you now! <laughs> Mortal fool, no one hides from the dead! <laughs> oh, I want to see how... Okay, so it does still affect them. Couldn't remember. You won't get away from me. Yeah. And with your two friends helping you out, it's a very easy one. Although, one of them leads to one point, I believe, because of the reasons. I can't go any further, yeah. Shield Brother. Ever since Dustman's Cairn, the big crawly ones have been too much for me. Everyone has his weakness, and this one is mine. I'm not proud, but I will stay back with Vilkas. Give my regards to Ysgrimor. Yeah, Farkas, little squeegee apparently with the uh, with the you know furry legged ones. That's probably Ayla's arrow. Anything else in here? Pretty empty. Pretty nice large room. I wish there were more large rooms like this in the dungeons. Um, gives you a chance for more range stuff. Ooh, Ruby. Ultimate healing, nice, and Unamas. Ultimate healing, another one. I'm trying to tell you something, wink, wink, no judge. What are you? What are you? Ebony greatsword? Nah, I'm good. Good, good, good. I don't know. I really like. There isn't a greatsword I like. <laughs> I don't think. I mean, they're all okay, I guess. I'm getting out of here. Someone there? <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? That's 67, y'all. That is level 67. I think I'm going to get... Okay, well, first let's check. Uh, 605 and 437. So, let's go with stamina. We'll get stamina to 500 and then worry about health and magicka. Uh, oh, yes, here. Yes! 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 Alright, inventory now? Yeah, that's about 100 weight down. It's very nice. Uh, and especially since we'll be wearing heavy armor for the rest of the game, that'll be very, very helpful. 
Oh, and just spiders in here. Okay. Quick save since we got the level. A fight. Lemons are squeezable. Nothing. Nothing out of the usual. Ooh, adept. Oh, I got what? Three more levels? Yes. Sorry. I'm good. Oh! Pull that chain, open her up. What do we got? Is someone there? Iron helmet. Death oh! Comes for you. You know, y'all really should learn shield damage. I understand it might be a you know, newer combat style, bashing with your shield, but it's very effective. Oh, it was an arrow. Okay. Where are you at? Choppity chop 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 chop. Don't let us do heal. Something shifted in the moons, brother. That's not that's not a weird saying at all. When you're underground and cannot see the moon. Something shifted in the moon, brother. Oh, you can see the moon? No. Gold. Not a lot of gold, but it's worth it. All gold is worth it in this game, because you, you know, it's all, all for spending. Okay, nothing else. Okay, going this way, nothing, nothing. Ooh, give me that moss. Okay, well. Something in the moon, brother. In the moons, brother. But we can't see the moons, so... Yeah, she's... Don't worry, she's very bad. Oh, we got an enemy already? Boy, really taking some damage here. Yeah, well. <laughs> Stamina potion. I see it. I see it, and I want it. Oh, minor. Something has shifted in the moons, brother. Is that all you're gonna say for the rest of this whole dungeon? Is something has shifted in the moons, brother? Both ominous and, you know, somewhat, you know, reassuring that you're aware that the moons, you know, can well, things in them can shift. Okay. Normal door. Normal door. Oh, is this a? Uh... Hmm. What is this? Oh, it's just a handle. Look like one of those things you might have to insert something into, like a blade or something. I still sense your presence, living fool. Well, I tried to get all three and I only got one. Hey, finally a shield bash. Ooh. Yeah, that's gonna I'm just gonna heal in there. Oh, nice. 
nice. Do not think I've read that yet. Nice to see we're at 95, though. Means we can no longer level it up. Via, um, not merchants. Trainers. Okay. No, just a charcoal bulb. Oh. Okay. This is, this is, this is it. This is the end. Um, we're actually going to end early, uh, so that we don't have to cut this section up at all. Um, but we do, we will have, you know, some stuff to do uh, over there. Much shorter dungeon than I remember. So, I'm going to leave right here until next time, gamers. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, really, thank you. Feel free to do the stuff that supports the channel. But if not, just hope you enjoyed this content as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, yeah, until next time, gamers, take care of yourselves.